Here is uh, your review on how to find the area between two curves. I want you to write down these two equations. We're going to graph them. So the first one, if I'm going to graph it, I'm actually going to factor it. So I'm going to factor out an x. And then the two intercepts are 0 and negative 2. So here's 0 and negative 2. I also know that the uh, vertex is in between those points. So at negative 1 is the vertex. And if I plug in negative 1, I get the answer negative 1. And then I have my parabola from there. The second one is x plus 2. So I'm going to start at 2. And I'm going to go up 1 and to the right 1. And I'm going to draw a line. And I want to find that area. So I know this is an integration question. I want to remember that to find area, I go top, subtract, bottom. So which equation's on top? That's the line, which is x plus 2. Subtract what's underneath the bottom. That's the parabola x squared plus 2x. I don't know the bounds. I need to know them. So on the side, I'm going to take the two equations and make them equal to each other and solve it. When you have a quadratic term, it needs to stay positive. So I need to subtract x, and I need to subtract 2. So I have x squared. 2 take away 1 is 1x, and then minus 2. So I'm going to factor this, and then solve it. So the two answers here are negative 2 and positive 1. And if I look off the graph, it can confirm to me it's negative 2, and that does look like it could be positive 1. So I like it that the graph can show that that fits. So I'm going to find the area from negative 2 to 1. Next, I'm going to combine like terms. So we have negative x squared. I have negative 2x plus 1x. So that's negative 1x, and then I have 2. So I've combined like terms to make it easy on myself to now find the area we are going to integrate. So we're going to add 1 to the exponent and divide. And then I'm going to integrate from negative 2 to 1. The last step is to plug in the upper limit. Put parentheses around it. Subtract the lower limit. So same thing, just with negative 2. And then I won't make you uh, simplify that. And there you go. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to find volume. So let's say I take the same two equations. So I take f at x and g at x. And now I want to find volume with it. So I still have the same equation here. 1. Here's my parabola. There's my area. And what I want to do with this area is find volume with known cross sections. Oops. Sorry. So with known cross sections. Now, we, with known cross sections, so let's say the known cross, cross section is a square. I need to know the formula. You take one base and you square it. Uh, for if it's a semicircle, then it's pi r squared divided by 2. If it's a, uh, what would be another shape that it used? Um, equilateral triangle, it's root 3 over 4, and you take the base and square it. Sometimes it's a rectangle. So we need to know how to handle these situations. So let's say it's a square. So for this area, you find the volume using squares. The integration is like before. It goes negative 2 to 1. We already found that. And then we use this formula, which is the base squared. And I need to know what the base is top, subtract, bottom, just like you found area. So when you went top, subtract, bottom, that is the distance for the base of the square. We already went top, subtract, bottom, and this is what we came up with. So that's negative x squared minus x plus 2. 
there's the setup to find volume using a square. Let's say it's a semicircle. So for a semicircle, we have the same setup. Um, the base, in this case, is going to be, there's my semicircle. The full base is actually the diameter. So for the formula for the area of a circle, I need the radius. So for the radius, I take this top, subtract bottom, and divide it by 2, and that would give me the radius. So the formula is a 1 half pi r squared, right? That's the formula for semicircle. And then inside the radius, this top, subtract bottom, but I have to divide it by 2 so that it's the radius. And now that's the setup to find the volume using semicircles. Uh, the other way to find volume is to revolve it around a line. So let's say I pick a line like at 4 up here. And I say, hey, take this and revolve it around a line like 4. What would I do? So in order to do that, I need to recognize that revolving makes a circle. So I know a circle, the area is pi r squared. And then second, there's a space here between the area and what I'm revolving around. And so when I revolve, it creates two circles, a smaller circle and a bigger circle. So the big circle, so this would be from negative 2 to 1. So we have the big circle minus the small circle. All right. So the big circle goes from the line of revolution all the way down to the bottom. And again, we go top, subtract, bottom. So the top here is 4. And then I subtract what's on the bottom of it, which is the parabola, which is x squared plus 2x. Again, I'm going to do for the small one is I go back here again, but this time from what I'm revolving around to the top of the area. So that's 4 subtract the line, top subtract bottom. That's for the little radius compared to the big radius. So again, that's 4 subtract the line, which is x plus 2. And that would find the volume by rotating around the line uh, 4. What else? So if you had a situation where I'm revolving, like if I'm revolving around the x-axis, which is y equals 0, and there's no space here, then all you would need are whatever. Let's say it's negative 1 and 1. Whatever this equation is, so let's say that's x squared plus 2, or x squared plus 1, negative x squared plus 1, let's say it's that. Then it would fit, right? Yeah. So negative x squared plus 1, that you could go pi r squared, and when I go top, subtract bottom, that represents the radius. And there's only one radius because it's one shaded area all tight together to what you're doing. There's no space between the area and what you're revolving around. All right, that was a quick review on area and volumes, whether it's cross-sections or revolutions. So I hope that helped. Mr. G. Math, over now.